Oh, everyone's favorite free candy. Don't mind if I do. So it's the time of year we've been waiting for. It's the first week of August and Spirit Halloween has started to open in some locations. So we're gonna go walk through the stores, see what they've got, what new uh, merchandise they've got this year. Uh, it's still early, so they might not be fully set up right now, but even though a lot of the haunts are being canceled this year, Halloween's still coming and we're still gonna celebrate as if it were gonna be full-fledged. We'll decorate the house and everything, even if we don't trick or treat. So come on and join us on this experience. So we've already seen Uncle Charlie and the demonic Dahlia. Let's see, this is Jack Straw. Let's see what this guy does. Well, that's slightly frightening. <laughs> and then here is Johnny Punk, man after my own heart. Who are you calling a clown? You don't know who you're messing with. <laughs> and then right down through the middle of it they've got some some uh implied flames oh and here's sam from one of our favorite halloween movies of recent times <laughs> the flames behind him just makes it even creepier Clearly they have a clown theme. We have peekaboo clown right here. He is quite large. Let's see if I can keep him in frame when I step on the pad. <laughs> peekaboo! Peekaboo! Boo! I just love that game! Particularly with crying little babies! <laughs> I'm ready to play again! Now that's very cool. It's a quiet one. And then right up here in the front is Crouchy. Well, he's frightening. Here's a comparison of hand size. Let's see what he does. He's legitimately like nine feet tall. And their theming for the year is Reaper's Island. And you can walk through. And then of course, hidden throughout, they've got the always uh, popular uh, jumping spiders. Uh, oh, there we go, it jumped after I walked by. Very good. So over in the back of the store, they've got an exhibit set up, um, but there's no, uh, there's, there's only two right now. There's a, looks like a nurse, and something else down there there's going to be a few more in here but they're not here right now so let's uh, walk over and check this one out the music is going to be pretty loud in the background this is miserable marie And here is Miss Mercy. She looks frightening. Let's see what she does. Oh my goodness. Her head spins around. Several times. in a very familiar location right inside the main door. They've got a, a Nightmare Before Christmas section, one of our favorites, and then a Hocus Pocus section right next to it. Uh, I've seen these basically in the same general location and together for the last couple years. And then right behind it, or I guess in front of it rather, there's some, some Beetlejuice merchandise and Gothic Noir. 
and as you can see they're still working on getting everything out so not all the costumes are out here's the kids section we'll pan through it real quick uh, I guess that's a kids section scary clowns So something new for this year um, to kind of go along with what's been happening the year uh, throughout the year they've got uh, some signs around to not try on masks uh, where normally people are you know come in and they want to try out the masks to see if they if they want it or if it fits but they've got a, a no a no trying on masks policy this year here's a nice shot all the way down the uh, it's the adult uh, costume section Oh, and we're right in front of Harry Potter, which is very fitting with my Gryffindor mask right now. Uh, and the adult Ghostbusters stuff. Declan just uh, got actually this same jacket right here, but in the kid size. And in fact, you can see it down that way. And here is a very, very lengthy adult section. And as you can see on the floor, uh, they've got these yellow tape marks all throughout the store. And uh, basically, they're six foot. Uh, you know, distance markers to help people kind of stay separated a little bit. And here is the uh, price list for Reaper's Island Village for all the backdrops basically. It says for the sale starting on Halloween Day and see associate for details because they always tend to sell off all of the uh, the props and sometimes you can get them before Halloween for your get up uh, it's it's basically always first come first serve though they don't reserve anything they don't set it aside for anybody So we just got home, we bought a little bit of merchandise, a lot of merchandise, uh, so we'll take a look at what they are. My new hat, welcome to Haddonfield, trucker hat, I didn't try it on because they don't want us trying it on, uh, anything on in there. Oh, it actually fits me really well. Uh, hats, hats are kind of uh, finicky for me because I have kind of a shallow head, so I tend to push my ears down. Uh, we got a trick-or-treat hat with Sam on the front of it. My favorite movie. Yep, Ashley's favorite movie, at least, or Halloween movie at least. A Nightmare Before Christmas dish towel, a trio of terror with lock, shock, and barrel. So we got a couple toy, uh, little toys too. They're, uh, I think they're all bag clips. This one's Ghostbusters. That's uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, Hocus Pocus. And then uh, Ashley got a new lanyard for her Universal Pass. It's also Trick or Treat. Oh, and Sam on this side too. On the back side, it just says Trick or Treat. Declan's new jacket. Got to model it. <laughs> on the front is it says Spangler right now, and then it's got uh, other names um, in the pocket right here. Um, here's the front patch. And then on the back, and then a couple more signs to add to the wall behind me. Um, Beetlejuice one, never trust the living. And the bigger of the two is, you guessed it, a trick or treat one with the rules of Halloween. 
All right, so that wraps up our first trip to Spirit. I'm sure there'll be many more trips before Halloween, as well as uh, videos uh, before Halloween, so we can see what new merchandise they get throughout the season, if they get anything new. So in the comments below, uh, let us know what you're most excited about for Spirit Halloween this year, for Halloween in general, uh, and also let us know what your favorite Halloween time movie is. I hope you liked the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. If you ring the bell below, then you'll get notifications of all of our future videos. Be kind and be real, and join us on our next experience. <laughs>